Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Hello, how teacher. are you? Fine. 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 Okay. Fine. Thank God everything is fine. Yeah. No problem. No. Okay. That's good. Okay, just let me find the um, our platform. Okay. How was the day? Mm, fine. Fine, not too much work? Mm, so, so. <laughs> so, so, right? So, so. Yeah. It's, it's a wound, right? Yes. Thank, uh, thank God. Yes. <laughs> thank God we have. And how was the traffic today? Horrible. Horrible, yes. <laughs> it's, inc it's incredible, right? It's incredible. Yes. yes. How oh, the, the the traffic traffic I mean, and uh, to stress for persons driving cars. Is, yes, and in in it seems it seems there is no there is no solution, right? No. No. I mean, it's. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't. I don't, know. I don't think have a one solution in in the future. Which one? Which one do you think? I don't think, uh, I mean, the, the problem is that the, the space in El Salvador is the same, but the amount or the quantity of cars is increasing, right? It's increasing. Yeah. So I guess that is the, that's the difficult, the difficult part to, to find the solution. Yes, and big cities for uh, New York, Houston, mm -hmm. Los Angeles is the, is the same problem. Yes, and they have had that problem for full, for many, many years. Yes. And they don't seem to find a solution either. Well, in, in, in New York, well, in Europe, in New York, also they, well, mostly in, in Ireland, for example, in in other countries in Europe, what they do is that they increase, mm -hmm. they increase the price of the gasoline. Okay, and then when the people have to pay more, then they don't use cars. Okay, so I guess that that is a, let's say a kind of solution, uh, right? Yeah, uh, I, I, I live in Houston two years ago. Uh -huh. I am very, I am very happy using the public transportation and bus and, and a metro rail. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Yes, and, and it's cheap, right? Because uh, in Houston, Houston is the one that has the, the, the subway from one uh, end to the other in Houston, right? Yeah, the, the metro rail is in the, in the street, not so. Uh -huh, exactly right. So then this mm -hmm. is the so that's the the best way in that area. Okay, good. Well, we'll see what happened here in in ten years. In the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but uh, uh, I told I told. Uh, Carol last night about buying a helicopter and she said that it was it, it was going to be the same. Yes. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, do you have any questions about yesterday class? No? No. No problem? No. Okie dokie. So then if, um, let me see then, course two. Yes, this is the one we have. Let me share with you then. This platform. Okay. 
it says, what does she look like? We'll finish number four. And then we have, have you ever ridden a camel? Have you ever ridden a camel? Yes or yes? No. Never. It must be nice. And an ostrich? You can also have estruces. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and have you ever ridden one? Pero nunca, nunca han montado una. No. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, not even, only in, in, in movies, maybe, right? Mm -hmm. In the movies you say, have you ever, okay? If you see here is, have you ever ridden a camel? Okay, who has ridden a camel? Or let's say, have you ever ridden a horse? Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Have you ever ridden a, um, Let's say what else? A bus. Okay. Have you ever ridden a, a roller coaster? Okay. For example, uh, to ride, you can ride a bus, you can ride a motorcycle, you can ride a, a, a horse, you can ride a, an elephant. Okay. You can ride an elephant. What else can we ride? Uh, a, a dolphin, okay. We can also ride a, well, the roller coasters, okay, the roller coasters, the Space Mountain, all those, uh, let's say the las ruedas, right, mecánicas that we call uh, dar vueltas en las ruedas, they are rides. In English, for example, how do you say las ruedas in English in Agosto? Then those are the rides, okay, the rides. Then you can ride different kinds of, um, let's say things, right? Animals, also some mechanical machines, and that's it. Okay, so then have you ever, present perfect is put in practice during the conversation. What is the present perfect? Who remembers the present perfect? Or who knows about the present perfect? Anything that you can remember? Listen to this conversation and see if you have any idea, if you remember something. Oh wait, we need them. Um... The sound here. The sound of music. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Welcome to Section 10. In this lesson, we will between two people in New Orleans. Listen and practice. Okay. What is the structure that you see for the present perfect? Quien identifica la estructura of the present perfect? For example, remember, uh, when we use simple present, usamos, usamos Usamos I, I work at home, okay? 
We say, I work at home. Then we have the subject, and then we have the verb in present, and then we have a complement, okay? That's in present. Yes, Norma, you said in something? This... No, not. It's in this another. case, we, we should use the participle. Uh-huh, yeah. we, we should use, the like for example, yeah, let me see, here. I'm gonna use another one already. This is the question. And this question. You have ridden in a street car. And then you is the subject. Have is the auxiliary verb. And then you say you have. Ridden is the verb in past participle. ¿Se acuerdan de aquella tercera columna que estuvimos practicando? Yes. Okay. En verbos eh, regulares, todos esos son los participles. Entonces, todos esos son los que se utilizan con eh, have. For example, let me see. ¿Dónde está esa lista? Here, right? Somewhere. It's somewhere in this chat. This is count nouns. Do you have it at hand? For example, you can see the list of verbs. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, the pronunciation with ed. You say accepted, added, afforded, anticipated, appointed, appreciated, benefited, collected. And then these verbs, you can say, all you have to do is, I have accepted a new job. He aceptado un nuevo trabajo. Okay, I have accepted a new job. I have added, I have added uh, more material in the chat. He agregado, I have added. Si ustedes ven esa lista, los primeros dos verbos son los que estoy usando, right? I have accepted a new job. I have added. Eh, let me, for you to have a better idea. I have accepted a new job. Okay. I have accepted a new job. I have added new material to the Okay, to the chat, let's say. Okay, only an example, right? What else? I have afforded, I have appointed, I have appreciated, I have collected. I have collected stamps. I have collected stamps for 10 years. Okay. Then I have traveled. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have traveled. I have traveled to that city. I have traveled. To that, the, city. To that city. Okay. Uh, let's say three times. If you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the idea of the present perfect is that what we are saying is an action that began in the past. Okay. And uh, 
continues in the present and will probably continue in the future. Okay? Uh, for example, we say, what time does this class start? What time does the class start? 9, 9 p.m. Exactly right, 9 p.m. And, fit, and finishes? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Okay. Then there is a period of time between 9 and 10, and that is 60 minutes. Okay, 60 minutes. And then in this 60 minutes, we have, for example, what time is it in this moment? Um, nine, nine, uh, nine, 19. Okay, I have been in this class for 19 minutes. Okay. Ese es el tiempo que he estado aquí. I have been in this class for 19 minutes. When did the action begin? 19 minutes ago in the past. Okay. Continues in this moment, that is 9.20. Okay, and will continue until 10 o'clock. Okay, si es que no se nos va la luz a todos antes, right? Then okay. in that moment, in that moment, that's why I say, that's what it's, por es que se dice, might continue, podría continuar. Okay, y uno dice, okay. I have worked, I have worked for Inglés Corporativo for one year. Mi acción comenzó el año pasado. Ahorita sigue, pero mañana me dice, mire, ya no va a trabajar. Finish. Okay, so then that's why the present perfect begin, begins in the past gets to the present and possible uh, there is a possibility that continue in the future okay so then is when we use the present perfect recuerden que los tiempos gramaticales tienen su momento para ser usados right el simple present es para routines things that we do every day or facts routines i get up at six o'clock i take a shower I brush my teeth, I get a dress, I have breakfast, I go to work. So present, per, uh, only the present, simple present. Past tense, an action that I did in the past and finished in the past. I went to the movies last night. I watched three movies yesterday. I, uh, I bought a new CD this morning. Uh, I took my car to the mechanic last week. Uh, I studied French 10 years ago, okay? Past tense. Action began in the past and finished in the past. Future, I will go to the beach this weekend. I will study another language next year. I will travel to the United States uh, in two years, okay? Future is something that you will do uh, some other time, but not now, not in the past, but ahead. In the present perfect, action that began in the past, gets to the present and connects with the future. Okay, so this is the importance of knowing how and when we use each tense. When we talk about the, sim the present continuous, it's an action that we're doing in the moment. Okay, I am speaking, you're listening. Okay, I am, uh, I am speaking and then you're sleeping. You're falling asleep. Okay, uh, you are, I am uh, writing and you are reading. Okay, no questions in this moment? No teacher. Okay, so this is the idea of the present perfect. And remember, choose half Auxiliary verb. Okay, we have the subject. Auxiliary, Auxiliary verb. verb. Then we have the 
past participle verb. And then you have here the, the complement, right? Eh, pa palabras bien conocidas, bien comúnmente usadas, for and since. For and since. Por y desde. Son de las más comunes. Since 2010. Okay. I have collected stamps since 2010. I have collected stamps for 10 years. Okay. Desde o por. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Then we're going to listen again and now identify the simple present, okay? The present perfect. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Riverboat tour. Uh, I've already done that too. So then he says, it's great to see you, right? Thought, and here's the, que the question. Look, have you been in New Orleans long? Okay. Ha estado aquí por mucho tiempo. Have you ever, uh, have you been to New Orleans long? Long is for the time, right? For some time, for a long time. And then she says, just a few days. Okay, I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Okay, this is another one, uh, another word commonly used. This is an adverb. Terminado. Uh, say, have you been to a jazz club yet? No, uh, until this moment. Ah. Okay, have you been to a jazz club yet? And they say, no or oh, yes. I've already. Yet is in questions and negatives. Mm -hmm. Already is the same, but in affirmative sentences. For example, I have not, uh, for example, I have not, we have not finished this class yet. Okay? Don't, don't disconnect yet. We have not finished this class yet okay then um, now that I, I have already I have already explained the present perfect now you have to do the exercises I have already then you say for example you have already studied this topic before or no no lo estudiado antes no? Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Then you say, sure. I haven't studied this topic yet. Okay. I haven't studied this topic yet. Teacher. Yes. Who say teacher? Uh -huh, Freddy. Uh, yet it is saying that, that already, but yet is in question and already is in the, in the answer. And uh, no? already is in affirmative sentences. Yet is in Just questions, questions, question. and negative sentences. Okay. Okay. For example, uh, let me see. Tell me something that you haven't done yet. Vamos a ver. 
I'm gonna Robert. use this one. Wait, 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 I'm gonna use this one. I remember, you know the bucket list? ¿Saben lo que es la bucket list? No. Okay, hoy vamos a ver qué es. Bucket list. Mm -hmm. La lista de cosas que hacer antes de irnos de este mundo. Right? Okay. This is the bucket list. Okay. Como dicen, antes de patear la cubeta. Bucket list. The bucket list. Entonces uh -huh. sería la lista de deseos. Es, no, it's not, that's a wish, a wish list. Eso es, una, ah. eso es una wish list. Esa es otra. Ok, wish list. Estas son okay. cosas, la bucket list es como, es que en inglés hay una expresión que se dice cuando alguien se peta, tío. Dicen, he kick, he kick, <risa> the, okay. he, he kick the bucket. Entonces se dice como, he, eh, let's say, kicked. The bucket, right? Como se, se murió. Bucket. Como que le pegó una patada a la cubeta. Ok. Entonces, eso se, dice, se dice en inglés, él se murió. Es de una manera informal. Then, está el de bucket list, que es una lista de cosas que hacer before we die. Ok. Then, For example, what is some, then, for example, what are the things that you haven't done yet? For example, I haven't, uh, for example, I haven't uh, flown a helicopter yet. Okay. You see, then you're going to, uh, you're going to use haven't in the past participle form of the verb. I haven't okay. traveled to Russia yet. I haven't traveled to Russia yet. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Piensen en esas cosas que no han hecho aún, right? Things that you haven't done yet. I haven't had, I haven't had dinner with Talia yet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. What? Yet es cuando no lo hay. Fini finish what? I uh -huh. have finished it. Finish what? Finish it my, my university. Okay. Yet. I haven't finished my university yet. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? I haven't get married yet. <laughs> okay, I have to believe. Vamos a creer, va. No saben lo que dicen. Yes. I haven't gotten married yet. Hey, qué felicidad. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I haven't gotten married yet. Okay, no me he casado todavía. That's what it says. Okay, David, good. Okay, who else? Who else? Who else? I, I, express, express and say. How do you say globo? Balloon. Globo. Balloon. Balloon. I haven't ballooned yet. Ah, okay, I got it. I haven't. Hey, Susa, haven't flown. Flown. No he volado en, en globo. And yes. And yes. Um, balloon. I haven't flown a balloon. My balloon jet. jet. Okay. All right. Mm. What else? You see, negative. I, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't gone to United States yet. Okay. Good. I haven't. Gone to the USA yet. Yet. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. I haven't traveled. Uh, how do you say? Crucero. Cruise. Mm -hmm. I haven't traveled to Crucero yet. Cruise. I haven't. 
on demo site on a cruise yet. And having cool. Mm -hmm, on a cruise yet. Okay. Good. Ah, okay. The verse in his in partnership. Mm -hmm. I haven't met. I haven't met. I haven't met. Aniston? Yet. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. All right. Yes. Keep continue dreaming, right? Keep on dreaming. <laughs> okay. Okay. You see, all of them negative, right? I haven't known. I haven't seen. I haven't played. For example, I haven't played badminton yet. I haven't played tennis yet. Uh, I haven't. Uh, I haven't swum in the ocean yet. Okay, whatever you want. Okay, so those are the. And already, you can say I have. I have already. I have already. Uh, let's say uh, visited the zoo in Houston. Okay. Nice place. Yes, it is. Wonderful. Or the, Muse the Museum of Science in Houston too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have already visited this. So this is affirmative. Yeah. Okay. This is Un ya de todavía, and this is todavía no, right? So I have already visited. Okay. I have already tasted the pupusas. Uh, yes, I have already tasted the pupusas. In San Miguel. I already tasted the pupusas in San Miguel. Yeah, con salsa negra. Can you believe that? With sauce, mm -hmm. black. Black sauce, yes. Mayonnaise. Huh? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's pupusa is pupusa, no problem. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is it. I have already. I have already visited. I have already tasted. I have already met. I have already gone. Yeah, you can use the same verbs, right? I have already uh, uh, seen. I have already studied. Already is auxiliary. <coughs> no, it's an adverb. It's an adverb. Ah, okay. Okay, I have already done this. Okay, the auxiliary verb is this one, have. Mm -hmm. Have. And if you... Already is an Yes, and if we're using she, then we're going to use has. Yes. Okay, and then we're going to use has. That's mm -hmm. correct, Arely. If he uses Arely. Okay. Good. Then this is, you know, the, it's not complicated, right? But you need to remember the verbs. Okay, here what you need is vocabulary. Okay, you need to remember verbs in past participle. Then the, the structure is very, very, uh, very easy, right? You can say. Good. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Now it says, in this session, we will study the present perfect with already and yet. Okay. And uh, ask and answer questions using the present perfect with regular and irregular verbs. 
Okay. And here we go. Now you have a better idea. Hi, in this lesson we will study present perfect with already and yet. I can answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. We have eaten all that restaurant. No se oye, no se oye. Yes, estaba en mute, sorry. <laughs> okay, so then, uh, yes, uh, any questions about it? No? Okay, you see, for example, there are some, uh, hay unos pares de palabras, like adverbs, like yet, already, since, for, and let me see what else we have already. Yet, uh, since, and for, and what is the other one? Um, yeah, okay, ever and never. Okay, 
usually this uh these words so this pair of words they are ad adverbs they are uh, for for uh, let's say to use right to use in the present perfect for example have you seen that movie yet have you seen the new the new avengers movie yet <clears throat> And they yes, yes, you can say I yes. <clears throat> I haven't seen it. Well, I have already seen it. Okay. What else? Any other question? Okay, sorry. What else? Uh, with the present perfect. Using scenes uh, when you talk about. Uh, let me see the beginning, the beginning of the action. When something is started. Okay, for example, we started this class, or we have been in this class since we have been in this class. Since Okay, we have <clears throat> for, uh, let me see, let me see, for 45 minutes. <clears throat> okay. In the class for if you see the difference, do you see the difference between since is the beginning of the action. Okay, and four is the duration, the length, the length of time. Okay, I have lived, I have lived. Okay, I have lived. Okay, I have lived in I was this for twelve years. Okay. I have lived yes, since since when? Imagine if the action started twelve years ago. What year was it when I came here? I have lived in Lourdes since for 12 years. Uh -huh. And then, no, I have lived in Lourdes since. Ah, since. Since when? Since. Look, 12 years back. Since, since 20? 20 what? What, 2000? <clears throat> Since 2008. Okay, since is when the action began, the moment that the action started, and four is the period of time. It's similar. The information is similar, but in a different way. Okay, uh -huh. <clears throat> Things is desde, y la otra es solo de. O sea, como da inicio a un periodo, de. No. It's the period of time. Since mm -hmm. is the beginning, and for is the period of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, we okay, are four. we are going to ah, be four, four. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. we are going to be here for one hour. 
Uh, um, let me see what you are thinking. From. From to. I confuse. Uh -huh. you, can, you can translate since uh, on this day. Uh -huh. this day. No, pero, eh, yes, pero creo que Arely estaba pensando de hace. De, de, ajá. Entonces puede decir, I, I have been here for, uh, let's say, I will be there from 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. De 6 a 8. Me confundido, pero for es por cuánto tiempo. Ajá, exacto. Mm -hmm. No, pero me quedé yo pensando en que cuál era la que mm -hmm. cuando me dijo de. Ok, no, es ¿qué que, es eso? De, como dice usted ahí, desde mm -hmm. 2008. Y uh -huh. yo había confundido la palabra de. Ok. Yes. Ok. So since, exactly, right? It's desde, right? So since is the starting point. You can use it in past and in this case. Okay. Entonces, estas son eh, dos, eh, otras dos, este, let's say, uh, adverse of time that you can use, for example, in the, with the present perfect, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other one is, Never, never, right? But this is mostly for questions. Have you ever, have you ever uh, visited, or have you ever been to, have you ever been to Acapulco? <clears throat> Okay, this is the other, the other form. This ever is, si alguna vez, right? Have you ever? ¿Ha usted estado en Acapulco alguna vez? Have you ever? Y ahí pueden hacer la pregunta que quieran, right? Have you ever smoked? Have you ever seen? Have you ever run a marathon? Have you ever driven uh, a bus? Have you ever driven a truck? Uh, have you ever written uh, a book in one day? Okay. Have you ever uh, have you ever eaten snakes? Mm. Delicious. Uh, have you ever? <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> well, okay. Then you can have that one, right? So the eel. Okay. In mm -hmm. la sardina, maybe they, they put it there. Okay, what else? Have you ever? Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever? Uh, what? Have you ever tried? Um, have you ever tried sushi? Have you ever eaten sushi? Okay. Yes. Have you ever, have you ever spent, have you ever spent uh, $2,000 in one day? Only Joel, I think. He's the only, he's the only rich man in this, in Enrique, maybe. And uh, spend is an encontrar. Uh, gastar. Gastar. Mm -hmm. Have you ever spent $2,000 in one day? Have you ever spent $2,000 in one dinner? <laughs> okay. Yes. Have you ever been to England? Have you ever been to England? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. Uh -huh. Have you ever been to Ireland? Okay, good. Then this is have you ever. And then in the answer you say, for example, have you ever been to China? It's no. a good a good idea in this moment. <laughs> exactly. No <laughs> in this moment. I have ni in this ni in el otro. I have never <laughs> Okay. No, I have never been there. No, I have never. I still ever and never. I haven't. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I no. Haven't ever been. Pero, uh, exactly. When you use never, you don't use haven't. Okay? Because the never is negative. 
ok, and then you say no, I have never been there entonces esas seis palabritas que están ahí, already, yet since, for, ever and never are very, very uh, useful when we use the uh, when we use the present perfect, right every time you need to use it is no, no uh, yo nunca he estado aquí ahí Allí. There. Mm -hmm. There. There. Mm -hmm. Allí. Tan, para decir aquí es cuando si la llevan a alguien a, un, a algún, algún lugar por, el, por primera vez y le preguntan, hey, have, have you ever been here? here. ¿Ya ¿Has estado aquí alguna vez? And they say, mm -hmm. no, I have never been here before. Ok. Nunca había estado aquí antes. Right? I have never been here mm -hmm. before. Ok. Thank you. Good. All right, people. So then this is, for example, the, the use of the present perfect. Now, ask questions. Let's ask questions using have you ever. Ok. Everybody thinking one question using have you ever. Uh, yes, no question. Okay. Okay, have you ever... Yeah. For example, uh, let's see... Robert. Robert, have you ever... Have you ever drank pisco? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, no problem. Uh, have, you ever, uh, have you ever tasted, have you ever drunk pisco? <laughs> uh, yes, sometimes. Okay, yes, sometimes. <laughs> okay, good. Pis pisco sour. Ah, yes, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad, it's not bad, it's good. Taste is good. <laughs> Okay, good. And then, uh, Norma, have you ever danced a uh, lambada? Yes, I dance lambada. Yes, I have, I like dan I have danced lambada and I like it. Okay, good. All right, and Suli, have you ever, uh, have you ever said a tongue twister? <laughs> uh, what? Have you ever said a tongue twister? No. Yes, you have. ¿Ha dicho alguna vez un trabalengua? Have you ever said? Ah, oh, no. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm I sorry, have. Sorry, teacher. Yes, have you I ever have. said? Uh -huh, have you, that's why, have you ever said a tongue twister? And they say, yes, I have. Okay? Yes, I have. Good. Freddy, have you ever, uh, let's say, have you ever uh, defend? Somebody to go to jail? Uh, I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't yet. yet. Just in practice. Okay, good. No, yeah. I haven't yet. Okay, that's one. Okay, then one question. Who is ready? ¿Quién quiere hacer la primera pregunta? Okay, Joel, ready? Have you ever, only have you ever? Wait, oh my. Okay, no problem, no problem. Have you ever? Have you ever been to Suiza? Have you ever been to Switzerland? Okay, uh, yes I have. Okay, yes I have. Can we? Cualquiera puede responder, ok? Yes, yes, I have, no, I haven't, ok? Question, Freddy? Have you ever played basketball? Have you ever played basketball? Ok. Uh, a little bit. I have. And then, Enrique, question? Uh, Have you, uh, have you ever uh, eat um, 
He took uh, Mediterranean cuisine. Okay, have you ever eaten Mediterranean cuisine? Or have you ever tried Mediterranean cuisine? No, I haven't. Not in my case, okay. Urania, question? No, I have. No, she's not there. Okay. You, okay. Have you ever uh -huh. eat? Uh, have you ever um, eaten? Thing in a, a, a party? Have you ever been to a party? Uh, depends. Payama party, no. But other parties, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very okay, good. There are different kinds of parties, right? Different kinds of parties. Okay, what else? Uh, Suli, question. Have you ever uh, crossed the ocean? Have you ever crossed? Uh -huh. Have you ever crossed? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay, good. Okay. It's impossible. <laughs> no, no, no it's possible. In cruise, maybe. In a cruise, okay, in a cruise, maybe. But not in these days. Okay, questions? More questions? Have you ever, have you ever made pupusas? Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. No, but I have eaten a lot. <laughs> Girls, ladies, have you ever, have you ever made Me pupusas? <laughs> No. How do you say um, kusuku? Armadillo. That's the armadillo. Es el armadillo. Ah, el armadillo, I guess. It's the same. Armadillo. Armadillo, yes. Armadillo. Teacher, have eh, you eh, ever no, eh, eaten... no. Armadillo? No, uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. Eh, eh, no, México era la mascota. <laughs> New Mexico. <laughs> 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 armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. What else? Uh, Ruth, question? Yes. Have you ever eaten um, pupusas? Yes. No, I haven't. I practiced the uh -huh. traveling. Which one? Okay. okay. I saw Susie. Ah, okay. Tell Bye. me now. <laughs> I say? Yes. Bah. Okay. I saw Susie sitting in a shine show. Oh, okay. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe show. Bravo. Okay, say it again. I saw Susie sitting in no. a shoe shine shop. Okay, a shoe shine shop. Okay, very good. Okay, so you see this is the idea for DS, okay? Shoe and a shoe shine shop. Very good, excellent. Okay, people, then, uh, como yo soy una persona que cumple sus promesas y se han portado bien, maña, mañana no voy a tener clases en este hoy. Vamos hasta el lunes, okay? okay. Sí, este, no, ya mañana ya no tenemos clases, descansamos, ok. Eh, 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 vean la plataforma porque ya solo el jueves próximo termina el curso. Entonces okay. se cierra todo. Entonces okay. ahorita vamos con buen tiempo. Yo creo que el miércoles podemos hacer una revisión del examen para ver si no hay algún problema ahí a la hora de contestarlo para que ya el jueves lo tengan completito al final de la clase. Ok. okay. So okay. uh, we'll see you okay. on Monday. Have a very nice weekend. Okay. Relax, okay. rest, and God bless Thank you. you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye